Thanks, Kirsten. Well, if you have kids, you know the struggle of always having to clean up after them. Sorry, kids. You know you get a little messy every now and then. But the ingredients in your household cleaners could be doing more harm than good. Jork Cory Corey Duke found some parents who found a way around it. It's all new this morning. Keep out of reach of children. Eye and skin irritant. If swallowed, call poison control. Scary warnings for any parent to read. But these are all over the household's cleaners you have under your sink right now. 90% of the ingredients are hard to pronounce. When Stacy Kopik, a mom of four, read the back of one of those products, the safety of her kids came to the front of her mind. I was cleaning my countertops the one day and was realizing that I'm going to make sandwiches for my children's lunches right after that. And what exactly is getting on the bread? If you look at the back of the cleaners, it says to call poison control if ingested. They're not needed. They're not necessarily safe. Dr. Aparna Bull, a pediatrician, says our everyday products could be to blame for your child's health problems like eczema and even asthma. They might be irritating to the skin, the eyes, the lungs, and they're expensive. You know what? Just eliminate them altogether. But there's a solution to this cleaning solution problem. You can make safe products yourself. You can use things like vinegar, baking soda, lemon oil to do almost everything in your home very safely, very cheaply, and very effectively. And then we're going to put four ounces of hydrogen peroxide. And that's exactly what Copic tells the parents who have attended her cleaning classes. We make our own laundry soap. I make my own dish soap. We make our own foaming pump hand soaps that are free of chemicals such as triclosan. She shows them recipes like this one, four ounces of water, four ounces of hydrogen peroxide, and 10 to 15 drops of lemon essential oil. Its cleaning power is similar to bleach. Actually, I feel like they're more effective. And it wipes out the safety risks, and these moms say it's cheaper too. Buying some containers that up front is a little bit of an investment, but then they're reusable so you can continue to use the product and then refill them. Now, in general, my cleaning products that I use usually cost about a dollar. Cost? About a dollar. But she says the relief she has knowing exactly what's in her home is priceless. A better way, a safer way, and a different way that I can clean my house without having to expose my family to these harsh chemicals. On the Two Works For You app, I've posted a list of chemicals that doctors and groups recommend you avoid. Plus, recipes for natural cleaners with simple ingredients like hydrogen peroxide, essential oils, and vinegar. Corey Duke, Two Works For You. I know you're thinking, who has all the time to make all those products? Well, whether you buy them or you make them, you're going to need some of those cleaners for tomorrow's story. That's because we're showing you what germs are lurking in your kitchen. We enlisted the help of food safety experts who explore dirty kitchens for a living. We'll show you the five things in your home that would likely fail a health inspection. That's all new tomorrow morning at 630 right here on Two Works For You.